Hi everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Sunday, and that means it's Dragon's Day. And this week's episode of Race to the Edge was... Have Dragon, Will Travel, Part 2. After rescuing Heather and Windshare from Dagger, Hiccup and his friends decide the best course of action is to take her back to Burke and find out exactly what is going on. Heather tells them about the raid on her village and the death of her parents and how all she has left of them is a horn that was given to her by her father. However, she also reveals a secret that she recently learns, learned before her parents' death and upon seeing the horn, Stoic reveals a secret of his own. Okay, things I liked about this episode. First off, just like in last week's episode, or last the last video, I love the fact that Heather's back. As I stated in the last video, um, Have Dragons Will Travel Part Have Dragon Will Travel Part One, we haven't seen Heather since the Heather Report Part 2, when she leaves Burke. Um, and that, of course, took place four to five years ago. So seeing her again at this stage is really nice. Um, it, it introduces an interesting dynamic as now that she's actually on Burke and also on Dragon's Ed Edge with the Dragon Riders, um, we see more of a dynamic between her and Hiccup and her and Astrid as well. Um, so I do like that. And we also see a friendship develop between her and Astrid. We really didn't see much of that in the Heather Report. Um, when In the first half of the Heather Report, Astrid, Astrid is very jealous of Heather. And in the second half... She doesn't, they don't, the two don't really interact all that much as Heather is being held on Burke and Astrid takes her place on Outcast Island to try to get the Book of Dragons back from Alvin. Um, so we're really seeing more of a dynamic between them. Um, they get to interact a little bit more, which is something I liked. Um, also... I liked Windshear the Razor Whip. Um, again, this is from the last video as well. Um, but I do like seeing a new dragon, and Windshear is a new dragon, so seeing um, her was very, very nice. Um, also, we learn more about Heather's past in this episode. Um, we get more into her family history, and we learn... A lot more about her, which not only makes her easier to relate to as we know more about what's been going on in her past and whatnot, but also answers a few questions about her as well. And that was something we, re again, we really didn't get in the Heather Report, um, which were the um, parts one and two, which were the only two episodes we really see her in. Um, but in that episode, or those two episodes, Heather had a mission. Um, in the first one, she had a mission. And in the second one, she was being held prisoner, so she wasn't going to open up to them about everything in her past. And as I stated in the description of the episode, she learns something fairly recently about her family and is then told something very recently about her family. Um, so we're, we learn that when the Dragon Riders learn that, and then with the other one, when they and Heather learn about it, um, which is important, and that will be important later on down the line in Race to the Edge. Okay, things I didn't like about this episode. There really wasn't much I didn't like about this episode. I felt it was very good. Um, it was well written. It picked up basically where... Have Dragon Will Travel Part 1 leaves off. 
And again, like I said, the dynamics between them, between the characters was actually very good. Okay, question of the week. Do you think we'll see Heather and Winshear again? Please leave your answers in the comment section. And for those of you who are further along in the series than these videos are, please do not leave any spoilers. A simple yes or no answer will suffice. Also, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. And please like and share if you are watching this on Facebook, or like and subscribe if you are watching it on YouTube. Also, feel free to follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and DeviantArt. I do have my name for those four sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note, all pictures seen within this video belong to their respective artists. I own absolutely nothing. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rules. Okay, feel free to check out my Related Dragons videos. My other TV Talk Dragons videos. my other TV talk videos. And my other videos. before I sign off, two things I'd like to touch on. First off, TV talk on my TV talk videos on Star Wars, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Dragons will now be posted both to my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. All other TV talk videos will be exclusively posted to my Facebook page. So if you'd like to check out any of those videos or the backlog videos of Star Wars, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Dragons, you can feel free to go to my Facebook page. I will have the link in the description section. Also, I'd like to apologize for not posting a video last week. Unfortunately, I had to work an eight-hour shift, and with my two Mother's Day posts, 
that I did as well since last Sunday was Mother's Day. I just it didn't have the time to not only make a video but also upload it. So again, I apologize for that. Unfortunately, I had to make a decision as to which videos I wanted to do and I figured I could always push this video back a week so I could get my Mother's Day videos out and so that's what I did. As always, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.